What is up, everybody? Today we'll be doing some Mafia 2 as I, you know, go along through all this new shit coming out and trying to get Kane Lynch done and Sab Tour is almost done, so all that shit's gonna be finished soon, don't worry, but I'm gonna jump into something new. Obviously, Mafia 2, unless you couldn't read, but it is Mafia 2, if uh, you could indeed not read, so. Yeah, I'll just do a medium. I'm a medium kind of guy. I'm sure there'll be a uh, lengthy cutscene in the opening that we'll have to watch and all that other fun stuff. Yeah, I wants too much risks losing absolutely. Oh, okay, I couldn't read that in time. Because I definitely looked away and didn't even see the uh, the thing. 2K Games and 2K Ch The Czech Republic. They present. What are they presenting for us? Mafia 2. Hopefully it doesn't suck. That's just my uh, my hopes. So we'll be doing this in its entirety. Don't know how long its entirety is. After I get some initial videos out for this, I'll probably go back trying to get Cannon Lynch 2 done and the Saboteur done, which I believe both are pretty close to being finished at least, so... You know, we'll, we'll get through everything just fine. We always do. I never get too overwhelmed that I start canceling shit willy-nilly or... My name is Vito Scaletta. Just stop uploading. I was born in Sicily. In 1925. So we'll let this play out and etc. etc. Get back. The little guy's me. I'm standing there with my parents and my sister Francesca in front of our old house. I don't really remember too much about the old country, except that we were pretty hard up. And then one day my father decided it was time to move away. from Sicily, across the ocean, to start a new life in America. America! Fuck yeah! Anything as fantastic as Empire Bay. It was beautiful. On the other hand, I'd never seen anything filthier, more disgusting than our new shithole of an apartment. The American Dream. Yeah. It was more like a nightmare. It involves a rat in an apartment, and sure. My father started working at the port for the guy who arranged our immigration. There was backbreaking work. And what little money he made mostly went towards booze. Eventually, my parents sent me to school. I had to learn English. I sure as hell wasn't going to do that in a neighborhood full of Italians. That's where I met Joe. You don't hurry enough. We ain't got a right. Over time, Joe and I got to be best friends. And since we were both poor and there wasn't much work around, shit, we started a little business of our own. Freeze! Police! Stop! Mina, this way! Throw me to bed! Stop! Holy shit! Shit. Okay, you bastard. Spread your legs. Fuck. I put the hands on the bed. I'm sorry. Well, that one time it didn't work out so good. The year was 1943. America was at war. And the army was looking for guys who spoke the language to help with the invasion of Sicily. I was 18. And anything seemed better than jail. Who says you can't go home again? <laughs> that sucks. I think I'd rather go to jail than go to fucking World War II. Chapter 1! The Old Country. I think I'd uh, actually rather go to jail and go go fight in World War II, to be honest. I'm sorry. Operation Husky. I was assigned to the 504th Parachute Infantry. On the 11th of July, we were supposed to be dropped over the southern coast of Sicily. But we got hit by flak and had to out. Way behind them in the lines. Only three of us made it. If it wasn't for the local resistance, we wouldn't have had a chance. So when most of the soldiers came into the town and started rounding everybody up, I decided to return the food. 
Se nessuno parla, quest'uomo morirà. Well, I guess they don't waste much time getting into the thick of things. Allora, traditori! Pensavate di And he's dead. That's great. <laughs> this thing zooms in really far. No, I wouldn't I wouldn't think it would zoom in that far, but. Oh sweet, it's a carbine. They're not a carbine, the uh grand or whatever it is. Oh. Oh, yeah. Just kind of hold him. Not the not the carbine, the Garand. I was kind of hoping that we'd be able to just uh, you know bash in the door and wow. And put a grenade through the window. Go grenade! Wow. That'd be one hell of a toss to land in a box of grenades. Oh, that guy's on fire. Well, there's multiple guys on fire actually. Skeletor, are you alive? Yeah, just about. Well, then get off your ass and let's move. I think that'd be a terrible way to die. Like that's gotta be one of the worst ways to die. All the ammo you can carry. This might be our last chance. A 38 caliber SMG. A C96 pistol. Never heard of that fucking pistol before. Oh, whatever. Well, here's the uh, pistol and yeah, there's the SMG. Well, I guess this is where we learn our uh, our awesome mafia roots. Well, this ought to be great. Clear the second floor, Scaletta. You take point. I totally love when games start in World War II. I'm, I'm being completely honest about that. I always loved World War II. Unfortunately, it's been overdone a little bit, but I, I still love it. Fuck that guy. Oh my god. Holy shit, so I think they're just firing through the door. Looks like we're going this way. Come on. That was almost really bad. Uh oh. I'm gonna run back inside for a second and heal up. I'd rather not die already. Get inside, Skeletta! You're gonna die out there! I'll cover you! Oh, shit. Oh, and don't even tell me we're going the Kane and Lynch route. No, this this definitely feels a little bit stronger than the uh than the whole Kane and Lynch route. Let's go. Oh, sweet, an MG42. Where's this machine go? Oh, there it is. All right. We got an MG42. Have fun with that. God damn, World War II sucks. Just, just throwing that one out there. I would hate to have been alive in this, uh, in this whole time era. I think it really would have sucked some serious ass. Just some dude on a balcony with a machine gun. Tearing ass, look at that. That is god uh oh. It's a fucking tank. Better get the hell out of there. Uh oh. This guy doesn't look friendly. Ah, oh, come on, we were doing so well, and the tank fucked us over. Uh oh, something took his focus off of us. Oh, 
dicendo? Chi si crede di essere? Non oh, perdo la mano. Ma è di davvero Don Crow? Oh, quello è finito. Cacetto, un congetto quando si ammaretà mi cucina. Ma chi è quello? Lo conoscete? Oh, eh, lo conoscono tutti. Don Calò è un uomo d'onore. È uno stupido trucco degli americani, non ditemi che gli credete. No, è davvero Don Calò. Ogni tanto dovessi ascoltare i consigli di noiacci del posto. Ce ne andiamo. Sapete che potete affidarvi di me. Che ne dite, eh? Don Calò, the head of the Sicilian mob. An entire garrison of troops surrendered that day. Why? Because he told them to. Pretty sweet guy. If I do say so myself, and an achievement already. Sweet, we've been playing for 10 minutes and I already got a 20 gamer score achievement. It's pretty awesome. Oh man, this, this game could be pretty sweet. Uh huh. I see. Ah, chapter 2. Well, chapter 1 was pretty quick, so chapter 2. Shouldn't be that much long. Well, it could be way longer. Two years later, well, the war is pretty much over by now, or at least wrapping up. By that time, I think it was probably just Japan left in the war. If it wasn't already done to begin with. A few years later, the Nazis put a bullet in. I was in the hospital for a bit, and I got a month's leave so I could go home. At least for a little while. Vito! Over here! Joe! Hey, hey! Welcome home, buddy. How'd you know? I got my sauces. Come on, let's take a ride. Man, it's just snowing in every goddamn place we're at. I know you're itching to get home, but first, let's get a beer. Yeah, sure. Now look at that dog. What's this gonna be like a winter-themed game? Everywhere we go, it's snowing. It's it's snowing and it's cold. Anyway, we're no. Oh, okay, I guess I can't pause it. We're pretty much out of time for this time, so I'm gonna end this here, get this video up, and we'll come back and uh, go get that beer.